with that, what are we about to do? We are actually gonna make a video on how we get content for our e-commerce store. So I got actually the brand movement, they hit me up wanting me to do some content for them. They got, they sent me like a nice, nice little watch right here. But um, I'm gonna show you guys today how we go about doing that because a lot of you guys are like, how do I get content? I don't know, photographers. I want you guys how to do that with good cameras, bad cameras, iPhones. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. Let's get it. Honestly, we could probably just get a nice product photo here too, just to show people that it's not like a crazy, like, oh, product photo. Like, it's not, there's nothing crazy, you know? Fuck. Easy. Let's do it. So, the next bit of creative art on the ground. <laughs> and guys, right now it is about, what time? It's like, here, let me see. Let me see. It's 419. Okay. The sunset here is like around, uh, But yeah, sunset's around 7, guys, which is usually um, like an hour, hour and a half before sunset or um, after sunrise is usually like the best time to take photos if you guys are really um, wondering about that, just like when to go after photos. But uh, most of the time, any sort of lighting works. It's just like harsh lighting is something you want to try and avoid. But with the presets I use, um, it's usually not that big of a, not that big of an issue. So we got Kai right here. Ooh. 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 Here you go, bro. I'm gonna take some iPhone ones now. For someone just starting out, like just getting your own content is more important than like having it be like amazing versus good. We'll take one like this, focus the watch, and we're gonna turn this into something real good. What to next? The parking garage. Just because that's an easy spot, it's something that people should be able to find really anywhere where they live. And I think it's pretty pretty easy to take photos around there, so that's where we're off to. It's crowded, but I did see a bridge, some sort of bridge down here, which we can, yeah, we can be doing donuts up here at night. But... It's not something I'd recommend, but I just, there's a lot of photos like this on Instagram, so I'm gonna try to emulate one. Yeah, um, but do not do. try at home, we do not condone. Or endorse this, <laughs> endorse I don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh, there's a car literally right there. We got the shot. We got the shot. We got the shot. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are now in the office. Basically, I'm gonna hop into a screen share real quick here um, for you guys to kind of break down basically how we're editing the video. So first thing, guys, we are using the program Adobe Lightroom. Um, and so with that, the desktop version is, you do have to pay for that. Um, they do offer a free trial. But guys, if you want the free version of this, um, it's free literally on mobile. So on your iPhone, you can actually download the free app and see how we do that. So skip ahead if you just want to do the free iPhone app and use the templates that way. But basically guys, for this, um, for this section, right, for this first section, I'm going to show you guys how I edit on my desktop because for the more, you know, content centric people, um, this will be definitely more valuable. So I'm going to start to share real quick and uh, let's get into it. Okay. Um, so first thing you'll notice guys, um, again, I was kind of messing around, but what we want to do is actually import all the presets. So for example, um, the Team Atlas presets that I'm going to be using, which is the ones that I usually use, um, I'm going to go to, again, I have Lightroom open, okay guys, and I'm going to go to user presets, right click and click import, so I can actually import my presets in, um, and then from there I will go click Team Atlas, and then let's open up. So again guys, when, for example, for these Atlas presets, they are, you do get access to the mobile ones, um, like it's the, the, the software is free. Now, we're going to import all of these ones here. Okay guys, so we have 40 presets. Again, I'm just showing you guys how to import this into your section. Now they should be in here. Uh, so guys, as you'll see, um, there's eight different themes for every single one. So for example, if I reset this photo, so again, this is a photo that I took at the gas station, right? Um, they just found the car <laughs> in the, at the gas station. So if I apply, you know, white theme one, right? I just smack that on. And for most, of, for most photos, guys, depending on, you know, the actual substance of your photos, so like the lighting, the exposure, um, there's, there's only like three or four main things you guys will need to focus on um, in terms of using the desktop application. Uh, once you're using this. So again, you, you pick a preset, right? Something that, that fits like, obviously this is probably not even the best one to pick um, given the current lighting situation, but I'm sure you guys, you know, how we can fix that um, with this. So for example, for this one, probably just up the exposure just a bit, okay? So again, that kind of just makes it a little bit brighter. Now my arm's looking really orange, um, so I might do something a little bit more advanced and scroll down here to the HSL tab, um, which is hue, saturation, and luminance. 
um, and I would just change the saturation of orange because again my arm is really really orange so I would just tone that down just a bit um, just to make it seem uh, less you know like stand stand out ish okay um, things to know guys the, the, the big things you're gonna be changing are exposure temperature um, maybe clarity and then kind of just messing around with the saturation luminance tabs guys but it's really just those those big ones are the ones like the actual exposure will help change the brightness um, the temperature will actually change it you know either warmer or hotter um, you know given on the actual photo and again that, that's kind of up to you guys but again with these presets they're developed so that it's just you smack them on and they're good to go um, so this is what I use basically for our product photography and as you guys can see there's, there's a bunch of different ones to play with that you can really just smack on and again um, with whatever lighting situation it is, it's just a matter of increasing, you know, the exposure for for ninety percent of this, um, which is cool. Okay, um, so that was the one that we just took at a gas station. Now, let's go to another one that I was playing around with here, right? So, again, a photo that we took at the gas station, literally just me standing in front of a car with the watch on, right? The product. Okay, this is the edited version of that, right? Again, just slapping a preset on. And we on that. Now, one thing I want you guys to notice with this one, right? is um, this is getting a little bit more of an advanced tactic um, not tactic but a little bit of an advanced feature to use if, if you're just brand new to all this right but basically what I did is I went to this top right here clicked the circle icon right and basically what I did was I created a little oval just around the product itself okay and then when I did that I clicked invert and then I just bumped up the clarity a bit and a little bit of the exposure okay so what that does is basically everything in that oval right is what you're going to be changing what you're going to be affecting in, in the actual image okay and with a lot like with product photography what you want to do or focus on right is it's like it's like even like psychology is like you want people to look at your product right even if it's a really good photo you need people to actually look at your product or at least eventually draw their attention towards the product like to actually make sure that's the actual focus of the photo um, and to help you do that is again by just making an oval around your actual product increasing the clarity um, you know bumping up the exposure just a little bit um, in, so, in some cases right and then proceeding to edit like that guys um, let's do one more go here so this is when I was on the bridge earlier today um, again we can play around with a lot of these different themes um, I'm let's go with white number two right for this one okay um, for this one we can even just turn down the exposure just a little bit okay um, and then I might you know want to make it maybe just a little bit warmer something like that guys so again you see how we're going from you know an image just like this right to something like this right um, again with just a matter of a few clicks which is which is really nice and again my, my goal for this is to streamline the process right so again with content even with marketing whatever you're doing right is to make it as efficient and you know seamless as possible so when you guys are you know editing these photos and whatnot again I want to show you guys it doesn't take you don't you don't need to go to these iconic places you don't need to go to all these big fancy places you can go anywhere as long as you have your product a camera um, and you know at least a know-how on how to edit um, which is what I'm trying to do for you guys is actually show you, you know, hey, there's just a few things you guys can use here um, to edit whatever presets you have, right, and then export those and use those for, you know, your ads, your social media, um, whatever, the, whatever you decide to use your content for, right? Um, here's another one I played around with as well. Uh, again, we turned that one from this, right? So again, if we, again, we can literally just play around with um, some different, so this one's white six. So I'm a big fan of white guys, if you guys don't already <laughs> know that. Um, at least with my Instagram feed, I like to keep things very, very white. But for this instance, right, I might bump up the shadows just a little bit. Um, this one, I'll probably turn that exposure a bit just to bring up the product and whatnot. And I might actually change the oranges up just a little bit. Ah, oh, that seems kind of dead. This is a very de this is a very, very desaturated look, guys. Um, but nonetheless, it is better than <laughs> the raw. Okay, and guys, that's just an overall overview where it's just like, okay, guys you can go basically anywhere to get photos of your product all right the the actual key part is is you know actually determining how to actually edit the photos right because again it's it's not necessarily like the camera that makes it a really like it's not the camera that makes the photographer right it's, it's their vision it's their their overall process of delivering that piece of content to the end consumer right and again and editing is a big big portion of that not just snapping the actual photo um, so guys, that's just it. I wanted to show you guys that. Um, we're gonna hop into the mobile um, editing one right now, so I can show you guys how to actually do that with an iPhone picture with Lightroom, which is the free version, um, which is available on mobile, and how to actually get the presets that I have available for you guys on 
the mobile app for free and just start smacking those on, all right? So let's do that. This app we're gonna be using is Lightroom CC, okay guys? Um, which is basically the Adobe version of this, um, except for mobile, but this is free, okay guys? So again, if you're really, really trying to bootstrap it, you can you can grab the mobile app for free and use this as your photos. And again, with, with our Atlas presets that we made, they are for mobile as well, okay? So you're getting 40 desktop ones and 40 mobile ones that you can literally just slap on progress. Now, I want you guys, so again, what you're seeing on my, on my phone screen right now, um, this is just one of our white presets. So again, if you follow me on Instagram, um, there's eight white presets that you guys can basically choose from. Make presets in, Light, in Lightroom Mobile, it's, it's a little bit, it's very hard because you can't just have a file and you know download it and import it into Lightroom. So basically it's a picture, all right, and just called um, Atlas presets, okay? And each each picture has a different preset applied to it. But when you first get these presets, right, um, once you've imported them on your phone or just airdropped them or sent them to yourself because they are just pictures, um, but they're saved in a special file format that you guys can actually basically take the editing from that picture and apply it to any of these ones. We have this photo. Now, if I go back here, this is an iPhone photo that I took, right, at the gas station that, that you guys that you guys saw. Alright, this is again just a raw iPhone photo, nothing special about it, and I'm just literally going to go to the Atlas preset photo, okay? Click the top right, I'm gonna click copy settings, alright? And then again, you don't want to uncheck anything, so you're gonna press OK right after you do that. Go back to the iPhone photo, okay guys, <laughs> get ready for this, this is getting crazy. Um, now this is all raw, we're gonna go click the top right button, and then we're gonna click paste settings. Boom, that looks like a professional camera took that photo, holy shit. All right, now, again, th there's small things that you guys can always you know, adjust and crop and work on um, with the colors and whatnot, so like the temperature, I might make it a little bit more um, yellow, right? So yeah, this looks really, really good um, with just literally almost no no touches, okay guys? Like this is a professional photo, like this could be on a huge Instagram page um, with, this, with this photo, okay guys? Again, this is like just a very, very quick edit that you guys can slap on. Basically, if you you know have a preset, you can import it and then copy the settings onto an iPhone photo and make it look really, really, really good. Okay, guys. Um, but again, that's really just how I edit my photos. You don't need anything crazy, guys. Um, it's just a little bit of creativity, a little bit of understanding, um, especially with products, guys. There's a difference between you know taking pictures of a person versus taking pictures of a product. Um, and it's, it's, it's just being creative, guys. You don't need to go to these crazy places um, all the time, or especially when you're just starting out. You can really, really be creative. Like, you'll see what me and Kai did was we went to a gas station, took a few photos. We went to a, a parking garage. We went to a bridge and just took some photos. And then, again, with these presets, it's almost like you don't, you don't even need to be a really good photographer. It's just slapping stuff on and then editing it slightly to adjust it. And then, guys, that, that's really how you can create a really, really good audience. Like, honestly, this is just, like, Something I shouldn't even be posting for everyone like this. I mean, again, like this is like I have stuff in the course. Um, that's a lot more, but this is public for you guys to be using um, literally right now. So if you guys do want the presets, link is in the description, guys. There's 40. So again, 40 presets for your laptop and then 40 presets for your phone that you guys can use for everything, okay? So there's white presets, there's warm presets, there's cool presets. Cool as in like the temperature, so like a little bit more blues. Um, warms would be a little bit more like sunset, yellows, Hollywood, right? And white preset and a vintage preset group, okay guys? So there's 40 presets all bundled into that. You guys can check that out in the description. There's also the course, guys, I haven't really talked about it yet. I wanna make a full dedicated video explaining it, but basically the course is out now. There's three times more content in this new course platform, right? And it's, it's not even officially out because I haven't made a, like a, an official announcement yet. I haven't even, you know, again, if you're in the old course, you don't need to buy it again. Right, I'll be making an announcement in the private group there to send everyone to the new platform. Um, and yeah, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hope you guys, I hope that gave you a bit of an understanding of just like how you guys can go about getting content um, for your e-commerce stores or just, you know, getting content in general and then editing content, guys. Um, again, it just takes a lot of experimentation and playing around with the programs, understanding that. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't mind my purple hair here. I went to a salon and uh, yeah, let's not talk about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, respond to all you guys' comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check the uh, description for all the important stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.